Last year, the organization managed to resolve an unspecified number of cases from community members. Founder Ipinge Shanika Nashilongo says they did not receive any assistance from the private sector. As such, noting an increase in gender-based violence in the community, they reached out to MTC for help, resulting in a donation of an undisclosed value as part of their knockout gender-based violence campaign. Nashilongo now says with enough funds to pay for their daily needs, they are eager to assist victims. Uh, we are calling out the member of the public to come out in large numbers and reporting uh, matters of GBV anywhere we are, as long as we are in commerce, uh, both men and women. So to men, they must not kill women because they cannot understand each other, because maybe they are courting them cheating. So they def at the same time the matter is happening, they need to do a call, just to call our number. We will definitely come there, wherever they are. And uh, for women also, they don't need to uh, be violent, which is resulting in them fighting with men. They just need to call. Whether you are rich or poor, just call. We are not going to discriminate everyone. We will come, definitely. The organization, he emphasized, also facilitates income-generating community projects for the unemployed youth in the communities they operate, particularly jobless graduates. Nashilongo, who is a law graduate from the University of Namibia, also provides free legal advice to community members from his office in the Korean Hub residential area of the capital. A lot of people, when it's coming to a lot of legal documents are in English. Uh, uh, we saw couples that are receiving a divorce order uh, or divorce documents, but they cannot understand anything. So without knowing that the legal language is one of the difficult languages, because the legal English is not the English that uh, we speak normally in everyday life. So we have to explain to them. Because sometimes a person will be told you are given uh, 21 days or 10 days to respond before the court, uh, and they don't even know what to write. So they end up now being uh, evicted from their houses or issue of protection or anything you have to do with legal things. We have to be there for our people to help them and explain to them and prepare them. According to media reports, about 209 people died as a result of gender-based violence in Namibia between 2016 to 2019. Kaipa Herwe Kanji, NBC News, Vendo.